In this video, we'll be looking at commas for clarity. When writing, commas can be really useful for making sure that your sentence conveys the correct meaning. For example, if you wanted to tell your pet dog, Frank, that it's time to eat, you might say, let's eat, Frank. However, without the comma, you're actually inviting somebody to eat Frank with you. To help Frank to get out of a sticky situation, we need to add a comma for clarity into the sentence. Let's eat, Frank. This time, you're inviting Frank to eat with you. What a difference a comma makes. Commas for clarity can help us in other ways too. Take a look at this sentence. Martina went to the shop and bought chocolate cakes and a bottle of milk. Without a comma, it looks as though Martina bought two items, chocolate cakes and a bottle of milk. However, Martina actually bought three items. So we need to use a comma to make the meaning of the sentence clear to the reader. Martina went to the shop and bought chocolate, cakes and a bottle of milk. With the comma added for clarity, it's clear that Martina bought three items. Let's take a look at our first question. Here you're being asked to add two commas into the sentence to make it clear that the children took part in four activities. You'll need to use two commas to separate four items in a list. Can you spot where they need to go? Let's take a look at the answer. The children enjoyed taking part in cycling, competitions, baking and archery on their school trip. Without the first comma for clarity, the sentence would tell us that the children took part in cycling competitions rather than two separate activities of cycling and competitions. In this next question, you're being asked to explain how the comma changes the meaning of the second sentence. Bella, Matthew and Mo won an award for teamwork. Bella, Matthew and Mo won an award for teamwork. The comma has been added after the word Bella. How has this changed the meaning of the sentence? Well done if you said the second sentence is talking about three people called Bella, Matthew and Mo winning an award for teamwork yeah! rather than two people named Bella, Matthew and Mo. The comma for clarity is making it clear who won the award. For our final question, you're being asked to add a different number of commas into the same sentence so that the meaning changes. Pause your video now and hit play when you have the answer. Let's take a look at the sentence. After leaving Lana, Harry and Alex played football. The first part of the question is asking you to add one comma to show that only Harry and Alex played football. That comma would go here. After leaving Lana, Harry and Alex played football. The second part of the question is asking you to add two commas to show that all three children played football. Those commas would go here. After leaving, Lana, Harry and Alex played football. Well done if you got those right. Thank you for listening.